Hey guys, it's me, Sydney. Um, so I'm sitting in my car. I'm about to actually go on a run, and so that's why I'm kind of hair up and tank top and whatever. If exercising is important. Make sure you do it. So today I want to talk about the video about like my anxiety and stuff like that. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a link here or annotation or whatever. There'll be a link down below um, to all of it. Um, it was really important to me that I had made that. I originally did it for a school project. It was actually my final. Instead of just doing something kind of flowery and just kind of bullshitting it, I decided to do um, something a little more personal. So this is kind of the video to explain sort of why I made that. 2016 was a really, really rough year for me. In my 20 years of life, um, I consider it to have been one of the worst years that actually I'm pretty sure it's the worst year I've ever had. A lot of that inspired the piece. First of all, the first couple of months of 2016 was going fine. It was normal. It was whatever. Um, and then about April, May-ish is when things kind of started to go downhill for me. In April, the end of April, like the very last day of April, um, we put down my childhood dog. And that was rough because we've had him since I was like six. That's a long ass time. <sighs> yeah, that was rough. Um, and then after that, um, about a month later in June, so almost a year ago, um, one of my best friends passed away and that was rough and unexpected. Um, especially because him and I were the same age. If you've never had a friend passed away or anything like that, it, uh, it changes you a little bit. Um, especially as young as he was, you know, the fact that there's people my age dying already, that's terrifying because, you know, 20 year olds aren't supposed to die. Like that's, that's not what happens. You know what I mean? It's one thing if I was like, you know, 60 and it's like, okay, Sharon died, you know? Who's next? When am I going? I think it was rough for me and a lot of our other friends. Uh, it was rough. It's kind of within a month, month. Um, I had an aunt pass away. I wasn't super close with her. I think I met her like once or twice. About a week after that, I had gone actually, I was on my way to my cousin's um, wedding and she passed away, my aunt passed away right before he got married and so that whole weekend was very emotional because you know my uncle was all you know depressed and whatever you know I mean he just lost his wife of course. And on the way back uh, from there we got a call and um, my uncle had passed away. That was a little bit scary because both of my dad's siblings um, lost their spouse within a week and so my dad was getting a little paranoid. <laughs> I don't blame him. That uncle though, that hit me a little bit hard. It was that uncle that we would see kind of reg I say regularly, you know, every few years and stuff. And, uh, you know, that was, oh God, that was hard. At this point, everything kind of like blended together. And so probably within a couple months after that, um, my neighbor passed away. Sometimes, sometimes people die and you're like, I didn't know you that well, but it's still sad type of thing. And that's kind of what happened in like September, an old manager of mine, um, passed away as well. So over the course of, you know, probably like six months, you know, six, seven people in my life had passed away. And that really brought out a lot of my mental health problems. I never really would have thought of myself as having depression. Like that, And I think uh, all of these um, deaths, one right after another, after another, after another, caused me a lot of mental health issues. It fucked me up, honestly. And it fucked me up in more than just my mental health ways. Obviously, my mental health wise, I developed anxiety it's okay so I want to make a disclaimer here I've never gone to a therapist to get it like distinctly um diagnosed that's the word I was looking for I'm just taking kind of a wild guess here a lot of the symptoms that I have match that of um, anxiety um, I've known for years and years that I've had some form of mental health issue um, regarding anxiety Anxiety kind of makes sense, but I think this year 
2016 really like brought that up for me made me really realize just like how severe it can be and I'm still recovering now um, from it I had anxiety attacks I had a hard time trying to go to school um, if any of you have like depression or something else you understand what I'm saying or sometimes you want you want to go out and do things, you want to be productive, you want to do something, but you just don't have the energy to do it, or you don't have the want to do it, and that's the hardest part, is trying to get yourself to go. Like, the hardest part was trying to get myself to go to school, get myself to do this, get myself to do that, you know what I mean? For any of you who don't have any of these mental illnesses, um, be understanding with people, because it, it takes a lot, sometimes for me to get out of bed, go to work, etc, etc. But going back, that was kind of the inspiration to how I was feeling for that um, video. I've been doing a lot better. Um, I've had to really work on myself the past um, several months. I've been trying to work on myself as a person, trying to build myself up a bit better. I gained a lot of weight from my anxiety stuff last year. That's really hard because I stress eat. Stress eating is not a good thing. Neither is not eating when you're stressed. I wasn't eating right, and that didn't help my anxiety either. Um, I've been really working on my health and getting myself built back up. Once I started changing my eating habits, drinking more water, eating less crap, I really noticed a difference in how my brain was functioning. That's not to say, like, don't treat yourself every once in a while. I've been losing that weight that I gained. I'm feeling a lot better about myself, physically and mentally. Most importantly, mentally. I'm actually going to the UK in a couple of months. I say a couple of months, it's like a month, actually. I'm going to Ireland for nine days, and then after that I'm flying to England and I'm gonna visit my boyfriend. Um, I haven't seen him in a long time, so. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really, really, really excited. I'm gonna try as much as I can to vlog, whether it's on this very nice camera or just on my phone and try to get some stuff out of it. I'm doing some really cool stuff while I'm down there. I would like you guys to be able to see that. That's all, um, I love you guys and thanks so much for watching. Um, leave a comment or anything if you have any questions. I'm at this point where I'm very, very open talking about my mental health. I'm finally okay with talking about it and so if you have any questions about it um please don't be afraid to ask i'm gonna go for my run now and i will talk to you guys later bye